Hey everyone, it's uh, Monday again, August 10th. And the video you saw in the beginning is uh, the intro video. It's from a trip we made this weekend to Fon Fonsagrada, which is close to, or actually where the Camino Primitivo passes through. And uh, the actual video that I recorded from the car is actually not on the actual Camino, but it's in the general area of uh, Fonsagrada and you can kind of get a feel for what it looks like and what uh, you will be walking through the terrain in general um, if you were to do the Camino Primitivo. Actually we saw maybe 10, 20 pilgrims uh, while we drove through Fonsagrada and just uh, in that area. Uh, you don't cross the Camino that often but uh, there's a lot of steep up and hills, up and down here and hills that you don't get to see in the, in the video that I recorded because we were driving up at the top but uh, it's a tough one. But still, there were, I was happy to see that there were pilgrims walking, which is good. Um, we went to have, uh, we actually had lunch at the restaurant just outside Fonsagrada on Saturday. And it was an interesting experience because it's really it's the first time I've been outside of the Santiago, Galicia area and have actually eaten outside. Um, it was interesting for the fact that I could kind of see that there was a little bit more relaxed attitude towards uh, virus things that you're supposed to do. You know, there was supposed to be one person in the bathroom. There was a sign on the door saying only one person inside, you know, at a time. And there were people queuing up inside. It was, they were not upholding the, the, the rules as I have been seeing in Santiago at the same level. Nothing like very, uh, very very bad but still it was a little bit of you could see that people from other regions of Spain had different ideas of when it came what it came to to virus and behavior and things like that uh, and thinking about that and then looking at the numbers lately it's been on the uprise up, uptick in in Galicia and in Spain in general things uh, infections are going up I think Galicia is about up to 600 now. We were at 166 three, four weeks ago. And at the rate it's going up now, it's not gonna, they're trying to get a hold of it and control it. And, but it's of course difficult now in August because there's so many people coming from all over Spain for vacation. So there's people coming in with, with maybe the virus from other places and it's um, difficult to control. So I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if for the next three, four weeks, we would see the numbers rise, hopefully rise slower, but uh, it won't be a downtick until I think September when the vacation period is over. Which means you have to be careful if you're walking, especially in the bigger cities and the bigger um, area, areas with a lot of people. Uh, we had, we actually would try, after we had lunch on Saturday in Fonsagrada, we stopped in the town of Fonsagrada to have a to see if we could find a cafe where we could just sit down and have a coffee and we found a couple of them open on Saturday afternoon but a few one of them at least we we just looked looked at it and we said no we're not going in there it was full of people some with masks like halfway on halfway off you know how they put the mask but only covering the mouth and not the nose and uh, I don't know we decided not to just go in there <laughs> so that's kind of the new reality too. Yeah, a place might be open, but you might actually look at it and say, no, I'm not going in there. So that's part of the whole thing as well, I guess. Um, other news, I talked to a pilgrim that dropped the backpack off at my office on Thursday, Friday. I got a message from him this morning because he knows that I'm doing these Monday videos and he's in Fons um, Ponferrada. Ponferrada. He started from Ponferrada. He took the bus there from Santiago. And he was telling me that there's, there's quite a few pilgrims, he said. He said 50-50 bikes and walkers, which I thought was interesting because that's not normal. Um, he said Spaniards and Italians, uh, mostly, probably mostly Spaniards, but some Italians as well. And that also, that also makes sense because lately I've been selling a lot of credentials to Italy. So it seems like Italians are also kind of trying to get back to uh, normal life a little bit. Uh, meaning they're trying to get out and do things they have done before. 
would like the Camino. So uh, that's that. Uh, what else did I wanted to talk about? Uh, I'm in Santiago Nuevo Masli at the San Clemente, the parking house, the top of the parking house, the parking structure here. And if you look down, there's some restaurants down there. This, these two are closed. There's one open over there. The other ones have, I guess, just decided and it's not worth, worth it to open. Uh, the city itself has actually a lot of walk to just past the cathedral to come down here and it looks actually quite busy. Um, not normal August, but very close to normal August. Of course, August is normally when all the Spaniards are coming. The foreigners usually come May and September. So um, August is usually reserved for the Spaniards anyway no and during the normal year and it's like that this year as well. So it's quite full um, in, in, the, in the city. I still feel safe because of the mask. People are wearing masks everywhere, but of course, when there's people, uh, the streets are not that, that wide and it's narrow and you know, you just feel like you wanna move through and go to where you're going without stopping too much. But um, anyway, so that's the situation. Uh, Santiago is, it still I feel safe, but it's getting, a little bit more serious now with all these new cases so we have to be careful another topic that is relevant now is that it hasn't rained in about six weeks here now it's haven't had no rain in all of july we have four with bit cloudy today as you can see that we have forecast for rain tomorrow so i hope it's going to rain tomorrow we have been seeing uh, just outside of santiago down towards padron on the camino portugues two or three forest fires in the last week that they've been able to take out with uh, helicopters and uh, these water bombing planes. So it's getting to be a little bit uh, on the limit when it comes to the, the dry weather. But hopefully with a week now of, uh, hopefully with a week now of, of, of rain, at least a gray weather, we could we can try and stop that because that will be something else to look, look out for for the next few weeks if it doesn't rain it's, it's going to be difficult regarding the forest fires because we've had have trouble with that in uh, the last few years as well anyway that's uh, it for me hope things are good where you are stay safe